Hi, I'm Kristen from Elevate Homes. Uh, this beautiful house here behind me is heading off very soon to Kuiper. It's an Elevate 148 with a few modifications. It's usually a four bedroom, two living home with two bathrooms and a combined scullery laundry. Uh, however, this one has a third bathroom instead of a scullery and the laundry is separate. Uh, one other noticeable difference to the standard is this beautiful brushed bodo cladding uh, which not only looks amazing but as it comes from sustainably grown uh, pine and is treated using heat rather than chemicals it's also much kinder to the environment. Uh, the home is earmarked as a family beach house I believe um, but this four bedroom family friendly model has been equally popular as a permanent residence. Uh, so join me if you'd like to come inside and learn more. Okay, we're here in the main living area with this lovely high ceiling above us, which is an optional um, upgrade in our barn and tilt model homes. Uh, the clients have also opted to upgrade the sliding window that is usually on this wall here to the, um, these large overwall stacker doors, which um, yeah, is gonna give next level indoor outdoor flow uh, for this main living area. Uh, the other cool thing on these both sets of doors here is this, um, are these blinds, they're motorised blinds. If I can get them to work, I think they, um, you can use, you can sort of put them up and down individually or you can do them all at once, which would be, which would be handy, I'd say. Don't know why I love those, but I do. Um, so I thought I'd show you those. Lastly, in here we've got, um, I wanted to show you the grills here and the, um, the bulkhead above the uh, entertainment wall. That actually houses our in, in ceiling ducted heating and cooling system. So um, it's a really great option for our homes because um, you can get to heat the whole home, heat and cool the whole home, and um, you don't have those sort of bulky, um, you know, high wall units that you would normally have. So um, really discreet, functional and efficient. Okay, the um, entertainment wall and the kitchen in this room have been flipped, uh, which, is a, which allows for a couple of important changes. Um, namely, this wall along here is, would obviously normally be the kitchen, and behind it we would have the combined scullery laundry. But in its place, we now have a separate laundry and a third bathroom, which we'll check out a bit later on. Um, the other change um, is that the entertainment wall has been reduced. Usually it would come all the way out to this outer wall here, but um, clients were still happy enough because they could still fit in their beautiful wood burner down the end and they've used this feature open shelving rather than a TV space and um, the big storage cupboards that would normally be here. And it looks fantastic, so I think they've done a great job there. We'll go now and have a look at the kitchen. So I'm loving the deep green and grey combo of this kitchen. It has a very grown up and elegant feel to it. Uh, now in terms of design, um, this kitchen doesn't have a scullery, but the new layout does provide a lot of storage. So starting down this end, if you'd like to come and have a look, we have a uh, double cupboard, a uh, double pantry actually, at the end here. Um, next door to that we have a, another cupboard with oven, wall oven, then a set of three drawers there, which we're still waiting on the fronts for. Um, moving along to the middle section here, we have three over cupboards and then a, an extra, extra wide um, 900 hob, um, 900 range hood and another oven here. So a lot of keen chefs maybe in the family. And then alongside the oven, we've got these um, soft close uh, drawers as well so a lot of storage there but then we've still got more uh, we've got another double pantry in here uh, same layout as the one we just saw um, down the end and then we've got the space for the fridge and um, more cupboards above now swapping around to this side of the of the kitchen the island bench is our standard uh, layout so that comes with a you know cupboard um, just yep, yeah, cupboard here. Uh, the twin rubbish bins with cupboard uh, with drawer underneath. We've got under sink under sink cupboards here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we've also got the uh, space for the dishwasher and then uh, drawers at the end there as well. Now the upgrades uh, on this bench are the waterfall ends, and we've got a the second sink is actually a bit bigger than what we'd normally have, and it's also got the waste disposal unit. So. That is the kitchen. I don't think they're going to be running out of storage. Um, it's, it's a lovely um, entertainer's kitchen. So um, now we'll go and have a look behind this wall and um, check out the second living area, the two guest bedrooms and the main bathroom. Okay, so I'm at the end of the kitchen now. If you'd like to follow me into the second living room. Right, 
Um, this would all normally be carpeted except for the bathroom there, um, but the clients have decided to go for laminate throughout the whole house, which is um, quite a good idea for a beach place. Um, it's also, this room is actually designated as the TV room because uh, if you remember there was no TV space in that um, entertainment wall where there normally would be. Uh, so we have a flush box all ready to go in that corner there for the TV to be, to be connected once it gets to site. Uh, right, should we go and have a look at the first bedroom here? This is bedroom number one. Um, the kids, I believe, were allowed to choose their own uh, feature wall colour, so um, great choice, kids. I love this moody blue, it's really lovely. Um, the layout in these rooms, we've got a large sliding window on this wall here, and then we've got the highlight window above the bed. So that's uh, the same for both of the bedrooms on this end of the house. Uh, we have the light filter blinds and the block out um, blind as well on all of the windows in the bedrooms and we've actually also got a handy beach feature is this insect screen, I'm not sure if you can see that but there's a screen on both of these windows here which is also a great idea for the beach, just um, pop those windows open slightly and get a bit of breeze in the summer months which is nice. Um, the last thing to note in this bedroom is the wardrobes, we've just got sort of a, a double wardrobe here and that is in the middle, uh, on the middle wall which is a feature of our 148 model home. Right, so that's this bedroom. We'll walk around the corner and have a look at bedroom number two. So come on in here. Uh, this is another stunning colour in here. I'm assuming it's a little girl's room. Uh, we won't spend too much time in here because it's the same size and layout as the bedroom we've just come, fr come from. Uh, the only difference is that the wardrobe is down this end of the wall rather than the other, as you saw in that one. So come on through into the main bathroom. All right, first thing you see as you come in here is this lovely bath. That's an addition uh, to the standard floor plan, but everything else in here is our standard. We have the heated towel rail, uh, the one by one meter frameless glass shower in the corner there, soft post toilet, and then we have the 900 vanity uh, here as well. Um, the upgrades in this bathroom are the LED surround mirror and um, we've actually gone, they've gone for a gunmetal grey uh, finish rather than the chrome in here on all the fittings and the last feature is the additional rain head um, on the shower there. So that's the bathroom and this end of the house. We'll go now to the other end of the house and have a look at the uh, last two bedrooms, the ensuite, the third bathroom and the laundry. Okay, I'm on the end of the uh, entertainment unit now, so if you want to follow me down the short hall here, um, we have a window in louver um, on the right here, uh, just to allow some light into the ensuite um, in here. So the ensuite has the same finishes and fittings as we saw basically in the bathroom. We have the uh, frameless glass shower in the corner there with the um, additional rain head um, shower head. Uh, we've got the soft post toilet in the other corner, then we have the 900 vanity here with the LED surround mirror and then the uh, heated towel rail. So that's our standard uh, layout actually for the 148 um, ensuite. So we'll back out of here though and um, go and have a look down the end of the house here um, to the master bedroom. So the two bedrooms at this end of the house are actually slightly larger than the uh, two bedrooms that we saw at the other end of the house. Uh, the other difference is that the um, highlight windows that you saw are actually uh, have been changed to bedside um, windows in these two bedrooms. The large sliding window stays the same and we've still got the, uh, the same light filters and uh, block out blinds and insect screens in this room. Uh, lastly, we have a uh, wardrobe on this wall here. So there are um, floor to ceiling inbuilt wardrobes in this, um, this end of the house. Uh, the fit out that I've gone for in here is just sort of open shelving with drawers and then um, two height rails there. Um, along the end one here, um, I'll just sort of point out, we've got a um, separate bay here, which has actually um, got a lock down there. Uh, so we tend to do that quite a lot in beach places, you know, if you're wanting to rent them out, people just want to be able to um, put their stuff away and lock it up when others come over and stay. So that's actually quite a popular little addition that we do quite often. Right, so that is the master bedroom and ensuite. We will pop around to the other side of the house now and have a look at the uh, separate laundry, the third bathroom and the final bedroom. 
Okay, I'm here in the hallway just off the entertainment unit here. Uh, so in front of me I have the laundry and the third bathroom, which is a very bespoke layout and has been designed specifically for our clients. Um, so here behind these bifold doors we have the laundry in here so we have um we haven't got the light in here at the moment so it's a little bit dark but we will have one uh we have the cupboards cupboards above the bench here Oops. um then we have a slightly smaller sink and uh the high-rise tap with nozzle which is great for a laundry um underneath here we have the uh laundry hampers to keep everything tidy and then alongside that we have the uh, stack or space for a stacked washer and dryer and then more shelving above. So it has everything you need in here and it can all be tucked away very nicely. So that's quite a cool little, little option. All right, further along the uh, hall here we have the third uh, bathroom. So we have the vanity in the corner here, 900 vanity again with the LED surround mirror. Uh, in the corner we have our usual soft close toilet and then a much larger 1.5 meter three walled shower in here with the you know with the same gunmetal grey fittings and finishes that we saw in the other bathrooms and that rain head shower. So very nice little um, yeah bathroom in here or ensuite for bedroom four. Talking about um, bedroom four, fourth and final bedroom down the end here. So this is the same layout basically as the one we've just come from with the bedside windows and the large slider window on that outside wall. Uh, the main difference though is the size of the wardrobe. We've had to reduce that quite significantly um, to accommodate the alcove for the vanity that's in the bathroom behind the wall here, um, which is fine really because uh, it's a beach house anyway so you don't need too many clothes. Uh, so that's about it for this house here. Um, I know the clients are getting very excited about being able to spend the summer in this gorgeous home. So if you're interested in uh, designing and building your own beach house or family home, then please get in touch, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, but thanks for watching and bye for now.